Yeah, hi there everybody. Oh, seems like we've got a plague of beetles infesting southeast Queensland, Australia. Now I've come across a few articles that are investigating beetles in massive proportions down uh, the southeast coast of Queensland. Now they've been reported as far up as Bundaberg, however I didn't get an article uh, from that area. But they're all the way down through Harvey Bay, the Sunshine Coast which got a record number uh, and then down around Brisbane uh, all the Bayside suburbs of Brisbane reported on them and then we go right down here to the Gold Coast so as you can see it's a fair chunk of coastland that has experienced this plague. Now this article here uh, is regarding a Sunshine Coast uh, pool and it seems that the swimmers turned up in the morning to find hundreds and hundreds of them in the pool and they ended up uh, having to scoop them out and missing out on their training session that morning. But it does go on uh, further down and, and uh, reports on an account given to them by a man called Tim Sheraton. Now he says he was doing laps in a 25 metre enclosed pool when he noticed what he thought was giant cockroach swimming next to him. He said when he lifted his head to investigate he saw hundreds of them coming out of the pool lane ropes or just appearing in the water. Now that's really quite strange, but this is what this article states. Uh, then he goes on to say that the swimmer next to him had one clinging to his chest hairs and then found another one biting his arm. So these little beetles actually give you a little nip too, so it isn't something you'd really want to be swimming with, you know, let alone hundreds of them. Now um, the next article is from the Gold Coast paper and uh, they're talking about Surface Paradise, which is basically the central location of the Gold Coast, um, the, the capital of the Gold Coast, I would call it. And this article states, thousands of beetles are swarming Surface Paradise in a never before seen phenomenon that has stumped local scientists. The water beetle invasion captured on amateur YouTube footage, and I'll put, post that video underneath my video as well, uh, shows the large black beetles swarming around lights and dropping onto the footpath. Uh, Griffith University entomologist Professor Clyde Wilde said he had no definitive explanation for the rare phenomenon. So this is quite a strange event. Um, now we go on to the next article and this is from the Gympie Times and it gives you a little bit of a better picture of these water beetles. Now these are the beetles that you find in ponds and small lagoons. Uh, you know, you may be lucky to see two or three of them. They're not the beetles that you normally see, um, you know, flying around your porch light. And I know in the summer months um, in Australia, we do tend to get those. We, we call them Christmas beetles over here and they, you get about 25 to 30 a night. Though, interestingly, we never really got any this year. And um, I'd be interested um, in hearing from other people um, on whether they got Christmas beetles this year around December because I, I think we got one or two and I did actually make a comment about it. Um, so just thinking back to that, it is interesting to note that our Christmas beetles were not really around this year. So anyway, these, these water beetles um, are you know, in the hundreds of thousands all along the coastline. So yes, quite unusual. And then we go on here to the Gympie Times and you have another young man holding a bucket of them. And then over here to the Fraser Coast Chronicle and um, they start off the article with it's not quite the biblical plague of locusts but the wave of beetles swarming the coast is definitely unmissable and it is interesting they note that um, of the biblical plague because you know we all know that there are certain um, quotes in the bible that state uh, you know locust plagues will be one of the signs of the end times now Perhaps, you know, it isn't just locusts. Perhaps this is something that the insects begin to do when we are going through these earth changes. It could be in relation to our magnetic fields changing. It could be in relation to our seismic events. And it may even be in relation to our flooding. But I did uh, hear an entomologist uh, speaking on the local uh, ABC radio. And he basically said that he couldn't really correlate that to the flooding. Uh, because these kind of beetles were not known to produce in this way um, in flood water. So it is, the jury's out, it is, it is quite an unexplained event. Um, it happened around the 25th and the 26th of March, so we're going back around a week, and it seems to have subsided. I haven't found any more articles or seen anything more about it, but it is interesting, and I did think I'd bring it to your attention, and, um, and am interested to hear your thoughts. 
So thanks for listening, guys, and I'll see you later.